What's up guys, Iovo here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can record your screen for absolutely free, whether you're on Windows or Mac using a software called Streamlabs OBS. Now in this video, I'm also going to be showing you the best settings for Streamlabs so you can have the highest quality recordings, as well as how you can add both a face cam as well as a face cam border at the very end. Now, for those of you who don't know, Streamlabs is a free screen recording software, which you can use not only to record your screen, but also live stream and have a bunch of widgets. Now, in the last few years, I've always showed how you can record your screen for free using a software called OBS. Now, this is Streamlabs OBS. It's also completely free. The difference is that this is a lot newer. It has a lot more functionality. You can add widgets and it also requires less CPU processing, which is why I thought it would be a great software to share with you guys. And if you guys do want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is go on the Streamlabs website. I've linked it down below with my affiliate link if you are interested in supporting the channel. If not, you can just go on streamlabs.com and click on download Streamlabs OBS and it's going to prompt you to the download. So we're just going to wait for this download to finish up. So once it's finished downloading, we're just going to click on it and it's going to open up the installer and we're going to agree to the license agreement and then select a install location. So I'm just going to install it within my program files and click on install. So once Streamlabs has opened up, you can connect your account to it, but we're just going to press skip for now and we're going to start fresh and we're going to be setting up the webcam and mic. So we can skip this for now because we're going to be touching on it later on and we're not going to be adding any themes right now. We're just going to dive right into the software. And so once Streamlabs has opened up, you can see that it might be a little bit confusing at first, but I can promise you that it is a very, very easy software to use. Basically, in Streamlabs, what you have is a variety of different scenes. So right now, we already have one scene made, and each scene is exactly what it is. It's a scene that's made out of different sources. So for example, I could have a tutorial scene, and in this scene, I could have a display source, which is my screen a image source, which is my face cam border, as well as another video source, which is my webcam. And those, those sources can be combined together into this scene to make the scene. So since we already have the scene made, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a new source. And we're going to select display capture because this video is about how to record your screen. We're going to click add source. We're going to keep the name as display capture and press on add source. And then we only have one display so i don't have to select anything but if you have different monitors you would select the one that you want to use and then if you want to keep the capture or if you want to keep the cursor captured meaning you want the recording to actually showcase the cursor you want to keep this selected and then we're going to go ahead and press on done and so right now if you look at this scene if i just open this up you can see that it's not recording my entire screen so to modify the size of the recording, you can just make sure you have the source selected and then you can go ahead and just drag to resize it. So once we drag this, it'll just snap into place and we're going to be modifying all the settings in just a second. Now, once you have your display capture ready, you can press record to actually record your video and then you can see that it's going to light up and then you can press record again to stop your recording and that's all there is to it, but we're going to go ahead and actually modify the settings and show you around Streamlabs so that you actually understand how each component works and you can maximize your video quality as well as add any other components you'd like. And so to access the settings, you just want to click on this settings button on the bottom left. And we're going to go ahead and go to our output settings. And the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we have a recording path set that we know about. So we're going to click on browse and the recording path is basically where you want the videos to save to. So right now I'm just saving them to my videos, but you can save them to your desktop, your downloads or any other folder. And we're just going to select the folder and that is how you have a recording path set. For the recording quality, we're going to click on this. We don't want it the same as stream because we're not streaming anything, but rather we're going to make it high quality and 95% of the time, high quality is more than enough. If you have a very powerful PC and lots of storage space, you can go to indistinguishable, but we're going to select high. 
we're going to change the recording format to MP4 because we want to be able to use this video with as many different editing softwares as possible and MP4 is the most universal format. Next, we're going to go to the encoder settings, which is basically telling you what is going to be utilized to process the video recording. By default, it's going to be selecting your CPU. Now, I don't have a dedicated graphics card on this computer. This is just a laptop, so I don't have the option. But if you have the option for selecting your graphics card, I would do that. And then we're going to go ahead and go to the audio settings. Now, depending on the kinds of videos you're making, you're going to want to sh have certain audio streams. And so the first thing we're going to do is go to the desktop audio device. Now, if you want your computer sounds to show up on your recording, you're going to select whatever speaker or headphones you're currently using. Now, I don't want any notification sounds or any of my recordings to actually have the audio also be captured. So I'm going to disable this. And now we're going to be talking about the input sounds. So these are going to be, you know, the things you're saying, if you want your voice to be heard and you're using an external microphone, then we're going to go ahead and go to the mic slash auxiliary device. And we're going to select our microphone. In this case, it's the Samson Meteor mic, which is what I'm using. And so those are all of the audio settings. They're fairly simple. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the video settings. And the base canvas resolution is what OBS is, rec is recording at. And so it's just the size of your screen and the resolution of it. You don't want to change the base canvas resolution because what you're going to be changing is the output. And the output is going to be the resolution of the video file that is going to be created from your recording. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to select uh, 1080p. So we can go ahead and type in 1920 by 1080 and press enter and it's going to record at 1080p. If you wanted to do 720p, you would type in 1280 by 720. And then for the downscale filter, once again, 99% of the time, you're going to want to just select by cubic. If you have a very, very high end PC, you can select Langsos, but by cubic is fine in my opinion. And then we're going to be changing the frames. So for YouTube videos, you can either do 30 FPS or 60 FPS. Of course, 60 FPS is smoother, but you're sacrificing computing power. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and go to the hotkeys. And the hotkeys are really important if you're someone who wants to be able to easily start and stop a recording. If you're doing a lot of different recordings and piecing them together, it does save you a lot of time. So we're going to add a start recording hotkey. So I'm just going to make my start recording hotkey F1. And then every time I press F1, it's going to start recording. And then I'm going to set F2 as my stop recording a hotkey so that every time I hit F2, it'll stop recording. And then I'm going to go ahead and press done and it's going to save everything. And now if I want to record my screen, I can press this record button and it's going to light up or I can press it again and it'll stop my recording. But since we have the hotkeys, I can also press F1 and it's going to start my recording. And then I can press F2 and it's going to stop my recording. So it's as easy as that. Now I'm going to show you how you can also add a face cam as well as a face cam border. So as I mentioned earlier, Streamlabs is made of scenes and sources. Now, if you want to have a video recording in our face cam on top, we would keep the same scene because it already has the display captured, but we're going to also add a new source. So we're going to go ahead and press this button. And first I'm going to add my face cam border so we can go ahead and press on image because the face cam border is an image. And then we're going to click on add source. We're going to click on add source. And then we're going to browse for this image. So for me, I have it saved on in a certain folder with all of my branding. I'm going to click on face cam over here, click done, and it's going to add my face cam. I can once again, readjust this to be the size that I want as well as being the location that I want. So this is perfect. And then we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to add another video so that I can add my webcam recording. So I'm going to go ahead and press the plus button. I'm going to add a video capture device this time. I'm going to click on add source. I'm going to click on add source once again, and it's going to look for the device. So this is currently my laptop webcam. I'm going to switch this to my Logitech webcam which I use as my face cam. And as you can see, I'm right over here. You can see me, hello. So one more thing we're going to do is go ahead and change the resolution of this video, because as you can see, my face cam is 16 by nine, but the recording right now is four by three. So we're going to go ahead and select custom, and I'm just going to make this 480p. 
which should be more than enough. So we're going to select that. And as you can see now, it is 16 by nine, which is perfect. And we're going to keep everything the same, click on done, and it's going to add my video. Now, as you can see, similar to most programs, this uh, Streamlabs also does layering. So if I was to like move the video underneath the image, you can see that the face cam would be on top. So you wanna make sure that your device is at the bottom, your face cam border is the middle layer and your video capture device is at the top. As you would imagine in layers, that's exactly how you want it to be down there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to resize this face cam. We're going to add it over here to the border. And as you can see, it's been added. And so if I was to click record now, it would record everything exactly like you see it at the top. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.